Sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And it turned out to be a nice day across Upper Michigan. A little bit chillier by Lake Superior, and we did have some wind off of Lake Michigan. So a little bit colder along the shorelines of the Great Lakes, but all in all, a day to grab the sunglasses. As we look at our radar and satellite, you can see that we do have the clouds beginning to move on in from south to north, and we do have some high clouds getting into areas like Iron River, Iron Mountain, and over towards Watersmead and Ironwood. And as we widen out the view here, we can see we do have rain already approaching the Twin Cities back towards towards La Crosse, Wisconsin. This is a pretty darn good storm system, a pretty potent storm system, bringing widespread rain to Nebraska and even west of North Platte, Nebraska into Wyoming and Colorado. It is accumulating snow. Yes, on May 21st, accumulating snow and out ahead of it on the warm side of the system. Another day with severe weather with tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. No severe weather coming to Upper Michigan and definitely no snow coming to Upper Michigan, but we do have rain on the way for Wednesday. Let's dial up our local Local 3 Futurecast. This is our in-house computer model and it shows clouds moving on in for tonight. And then as we go into the daytime on Wednesday, you can see Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Rain moves into the UP and it will continue through lunchtime. But I think by the afternoon and into the evening hours, the rain starts to become more scattered. Now don't be surprised if you also hear a rumble of thunder for the daytime on Wednesday going on into Wednesday evening. By Thursday though, a few remaining rain showers are possible, but the rain and this storm system as a whole begins to pull out of here on Thursday and we're left with clouds, but we could also see some sunshine for Thursday afternoon. Temperatures are in the 60s as you head inland, but with winds off of Lake Superior, Munising 44 degrees, Manistique a little bit cooler at 58 and same for Escanaba. And as we look at our forecast for tonight, we are looking at more clouds to move on in along with a rain chance late lows tonight around 40 or into the 40s. Tomorrow for Wednesday highs in the 50s to around 60 rain. Don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder as well. I know there's been a lot of severe weather going on to the south and west of us, but no severe weather in terms of wind and hail is expected for upper Michigan and definitely no snow either. As we look at our extended forecast, there's the cloudy and wet day for Wednesday. A few remaining showers for Thursday, a little bit milder as well, especially if we get some sun highs in the 50s and 60s. Back to the rain on Friday, another day of widespread rain, but we get the rain out of here on Friday. Last weekend it was bad time. I mean, this weekend, though, from Memorial Day weekend, good timing as we do get the sunshine in here and we also get some milder temperatures in here as well with highs in the 60s, maybe even some inland areas in the 70s all three days this weekend, maybe a little bit cooler on Monday and depend on where the wind blows or comes out of. It could be a little bit cooler near some shorelines of the Great Lakes. Also want to mention on Sunday, there's a small chance of rain, but don't count on it. Fishing on Chop Marine forecast, no issues out on the water, but the winds and the waves pick up for tomorrow afternoon. Small craft conditions on Lake Superior, especially west of Marquette. You can always get your latest weather forecasts on our website. At